Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my little mini series where I am just showing you um, in smaller videos how I do my makeup. Welcome back. So if you saw my previous one, you saw how I just went ahead and um, did my, my makeup my, to conceal and everything. Now we're gonna focus on how I contour and the blush and baking. So let me go ahead and get the brushes that I will be using for this and I will show you. And yes, here we go. So to start off with contouring, the brush, the contouring, I am going to, and excuse that it looks a little bit dirty. Let me see if I can do it. And I don't wanna show products and then look ugly, but I use it so much that that it, it got stained. Well, I don't think, there we go. It came off as much as possible. I'll show you what it looks like. Ugh. Plus, it's, I think it's just usage. This is from the Pure Pure Cosmetics. We got this in. If those who have Boxy Charm, we got this. These are the colors that look like. And the one brush that I am loving, that I refuse to move, is this contour brush by Wet and Wild. This is just an amazing brush. And I'll tell you right now, I have one, two, I have, I think, like three of these. I'm trying to see if I can find the other one. Nope, yes, I have three of them. You know, I, I just love this little brush to death. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I contour again. This is my personal preference. This is what works for me. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and lift the glasses up like I always do. And as you can tell, I mean, these products don't look pretty and clean. I've been using them like crazy, okay? So this one I was using this one, but it comes too dark for me. So I'm using this one up here. So I'm just gonna tap it to, and then you follow your cheekbone. So the way I work is I have a round face. I'll, and I'll do it a little bit lower. And I just gently sweep. Always remember, this is a piece of advice that was given to me by one of my good friends who is in the makeup world, who I cannot mention because he has asked that I don't yet. He hopefully he'll be coming in my channel. He's local here from my, from where I from where I live. Um, it's just that I, I, I he gave me permission to say that his family just doesn't know that he has a passion for this. And so he's learned everything about himself and he's, he went to school for it too and he's showed me tips. So I go under here, right here, from the ear down, I sweep it. And I just use the same amount that I have in the brush as you can, it's clear. So I tap it in, it's pretty much like that. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to contour under here. And I go like this here because I have some scars and the darkness of this helps me contour and I will go lightly here. You don't want to put too much because then it's hard to take it out. <laughs> then I will go in with this brush and I will just in circular motion make sure that I spread it out completely that there does not look like there's a harsh light anywhere. So I've done that. I'm gonna go ahead and put that away and then the blushes that I am using are two different types of blushes, okay? I am using this one from Tarte, and I'm running out, and I need to get some more feisty. This is perfection. And I will grab this brush, and I'm not, this is a BH Cosmetics brush in five, and I will tap it like this, okay? And once I tap it like this, I will just go ahead and... Now this color is kind of tricky, but I'm telling you, it looks gorgeous. See? And I don't want to overdo it with that, so I start off with that. And then... The next one that I use, see, I use two. Because like I've said before, I once I put my makeup on, that's it no retouching because it's really bad for your skin well for me I'll put a little bit of blush in the problem area if they start to come out but lately they haven't so this one is note 05 desert rose and we got this in the boxy charm as well and I'm excited for my boxy lux I'm supposed to be getting it sometime this coming week 
as soon as I get it, you can you can imagine. I'm gonna be reviewing it. And that is how I do it. Not too much, okay? And then again, I love this one. This is from Elf, and this one is just my to make sure everything is put on correctly. Let's put that away. I'm going to dab a little bit more, and that is done. Now, for me, baking is crucial. Let me tell you why baking is crucial for me. Because I don't, how can I say, I don't put more makeup, I try not to put no makeup on. Like I said, if, if in the bottom here, it starts to show a little bit the, the scars, because imagine, I go into work since eight o'clock in the afternoon, I come home till five, I make, I'm, do, I'm putting makeup on since 6.30. That's, that's a lot of hours. I don't take off the makeup until like maybe seven, six-ish, depending on what I have to do. So I'm going to bake my face with this e.l.f. Perfect to Finish HD um, powder. I'm going to use this and I'm going to just rub it in there. Got that much and I'm going to do it under the eyes. And this is supposed to um, help you last longer. The, and this is the problem area for me right here, so I'm gonna focus on that. Um, if you, a piece of advice, if you all can get yourself some loose um, powder for this, it works a lot better. So I will say that with a special little friend of mine, we were trying the Huda powder. And let me tell you, it is amazing. Um, I liked it a lot, but this does this trick just as well. It just depends if you're willing to spend all that money. I know I am, but right now, well, you know it's Christmas and everything and the holidays. and So right now is not a good time. I probably will be getting it eventually. Once I do, I will make a video of that. So it looks like I have baked enough. And you leave it like this for three minutes so you can be working on your eyebrows or your eye makeup. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video right here. Stay tuned to the next one. It's going to be on the eyebrows. Um, thank you all for watching. You have a great day. Bye.